Hey everyone, it's Sue here, and I want to show you an idea that maybe you can use for some of your jelly plated prints. So I have these two prints that I uh, made last weekend with my friend Cindy. She came over and we spent the day doing all kinds of artsy things. And um, I first had created this page and I'm like, oh my gosh, and this is on deli paper. Uh, deli paper, just like um, what you would get a sandwich in at a deli. And um, I looked at the, at the colors and I was like, oh my gosh, those are the colors of my bedroom. Um, not the walls, but the bedding and the curtains and that kind of stuff. So I'm like, well, I'm going to make another similar one, similar in color, right? Not so much design. And I'm going to get them onto the wall somehow. So I'm going to create my own art for my walls. Um, at first, I thought I might use <clears throat> this. Uh, this is from... This is from um, Walmart, Dale Arrowney. You would get three of these thin canvas 11 by 14s for five bucks. Great, wonderful, but way too big. So I can't use that. So I looked in my stash and I had two of these. So this is Artist's Loft, eight by 10 canvases. I probably had them in my stash for forever. So I figured, well, let me pull them out. Now I have to tell you something. So what I did, I was going to actually try to get two of these sheets onto that bigger canvas. And I was looking at it, looking at it. I'm like, that's not really what I want to do. But in preparation to do that, I had cut some of the deli paper off. And I need this. <laughs> I need this. So that one goes with that one, and this one goes with this one. Um, all I'm going to do, as you can see, I want to cover this 8x10 canvas with this deli paper. And, you know, I suppose maybe I could do, I guess I can do it without adding that back on. See, I just want to make sure, sure that I have the sides covered. And you know what? I can do that. So never mind. I'm not going to use these. I'll put these in my um, collage stash. Um, I keep little bins of goodies that I use to collage. So easy peasy. I have some Mod Podge that I put into this other little container. And all I'm going to do is put Mod Podge on here and get it down. I don't want Mod Podge on the top because Mod Podge is definitely, you know, shiny. And um, it even if it's a matte Mod Podge, it tends to be on the shiny side and also can be very sticky. And I just don't want that uh, hanging on my wall. So I'm going to put a decent amount down just to make sure that this deli paper doesn't go anywhere. So I could have used like a thicker, a heavier type of gel medium, but I decided to just go with the Mod Podge. Again, like I said, it's inexpensive. You know, I can do this, put a lot on here and not feel like I'm wasting money or anything. Okay, so you know what I think I'm going to do? Now that there's the Mod Podge on the top only of the canvas, whoop, let me move that over. I'm going to turn everything upside down. Now I'm looking because it's, it's tight, it's close. I want to make sure I'm covering both sides of this canvas. I have to move it over just a tad because this one side was a little short. Okay, now it's okay. Let me just make it a little bit more even. Okay, so I'm going to give that a good press down on the, the top. So again, this is staying as is. The, I'm not gonna be putting any type of protection on the top of this. 
but I know it's adhered really well because it's not going to go anywhere with that Mod Podge. So I'm just going to take the same Mod Podge and put some on the sides and just glue the deli paper over and then I'm going to do the other one and they're going to look so beautiful on my wall. Um, they really didn't cost me anything extra, right? Because I already had, um, I already had the canvas in my stash. And you can actually do this even on a piece of heavy cardboard um, or something like that. You know, with all this stuff that we <laughs> we artists and crafters get in the mail, you know, we all have some pretty decent. Um, I would think cardboard around. You could do this even on a piece of cardboard. You don't even need a piece of canvas. So don't be afraid to do that. Um, you don't have to have a canvas to do this, right? Okay, so that's the two long edges. Now I'm going to work on the shorter edges. And you can see, hopefully I'm doing this in a way where you can really see. You know, I am putting a good amount on there. I am not being shy with it. I'm going to fold it over just like you would for, you know, when you wrap a present. And let's get this down here and put a little Mod Podge. In this case, I am going to put some Mod Podge on the um, outside of that cover or the uh, deli paper just to make sure it's going to adhere down. Now I'm going to do the other edge. And it's funny, as I'm doing this, I'm hoping you can see it, but I can barely see what I'm doing. <laughs> but as long as you guys can see, we're in good shape. I think it's working. I think it's doing what I want it to do. So same thing here, like you are going to wrap a present. Oops, I'm pushing the sides in, this over, making sure I press down so that it sticks to the Mod Podge that I just put on the canvas. Now I want to make sure these edges are down and I'm putting Mod Podge under and on top. So I'm going to, it's done. I mean, this is all I wanted to do. I loved it so much that I just wanted to get it down on canvas. Look at that, how beautiful that is. Oh, with all that nice texture. And just so that you know, if you like these stencils, like this one right here is one of my favorites, like with the flowers right there. That is from an Etsy shop called Housewares. And it's H-O-W-S-E-W-E-A-R-S. -E -E and I'll put the link below in the description. And now I'm going to go ahead and I will work on my other one. And I'll just come back at the end and share with you the two finished pieces. I'll be back. Okay, so it's about five minutes since I stopped the last little piece of of tape there, a video, and um, I'm going to insert a photo of the of my bedding, of what my bed looks like with the pillows and everything, so that you can see how great these are going to look with that. So I'll insert the photo here. All right, great. So now when you look at that photo and you look at these, don't you think they're going to look great on my wall? So this was the first one that I did. Just beautiful. Easy peasy. You know, I'm not sure if I'm going to hang them this way or this way or what. I really have no idea just yet. So this is the second one I did. And what's interesting on this one is that see this line right here, this white line? I didn't know that that line was there <laughs> until I um, put it down with the Mod Podge. So 
the piece of deli paper was kind of folded a little bit so the paint didn't get on it. But look at how cool that is. Like if I wanted to plan that, I wouldn't be able to, <laughs> to do it. Yeah, I think it looks perfect. So I, I did this one exactly the same way. Exactly the same way. I have the deli paper around all four edges. And on the back, on the two ends, I held down the um, ends of them with some Mod Podge. Exact same thing. So that's it. Easy peasy. Tons of fun. I'm sure a lot of you have either background papers or deli papers or something that you could do something similar with. So please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And I thank you to all of my awesome subscribers and please leave a comment. I would love to hear from you and I would love to know if you've ever done anything like this or now that you've seen this video, if you plan to do something very similar. So um, thanks everybody, I appreciate all of you and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.